This is Harper Adams, the Shropshire University for Agriculture and Land-Based Studies. I'm here to learn about a project which has been designed to help with human and animal health as well as reduce the use of antibiotics. Innovation is never easy, but this project has got some initial encouraging signs. The project measures dust and pathogens and takes static electricity to an extreme. Dom Charman from AHDB takes up the story. Electrostatic particle ionisation, or EPI, is the name of the study here at Harper Adams. And the aim of the study was to look at whether the EPI equipment was effective at improving respiratory health in pigs. To assess that, we measured dust, focusing on respirable dust in the buildings, respiratory pathogens, bacteria in the air, and settling out of the air. We also looked at ammonia in the buildings. All the way through the study, the pigs were weighed every two weeks and feed data was recorded to allow us to correlate any improvement in respiratory health with performance. When the pigs went to slaughter, they also had their BPHS health scoring carried out on the carcasses to look at lung lesions, pleurisy and those impacts. EP costs between around 50 pence and five pounds per pig affected with EP light lesions before the cost of vaccination. It's a crucial thing for the AHDB to explore on behalf of the levy player. Richard Hooper is the livestock unit manager here at the college and well knows trials are about transferring theory into practice and then understanding the results. He's agreed to share his thoughts. Richard, how do you see this system fitting into livestock farming? I think potentially it's very exciting for all sectors of livestock um, production in the fact that it will clean the air within a building. It will not only take out the pathogens, um, but it will take out the dust, improving the air quality for the animals that they're going to breathe, but also the air quality for the livestock uh, uh, workers as well. That's a couple of really important benefits. Are there any other features that you can see coming through? I think potentially there are wider benefits for the environment, reducing emissions from a building and also reducing the odour. The man behind the project and working collaboratively with the Harpers team is Nick McIver. What practical issues have you overcome? Well, it's mainly um, um, getting the right place with the right number of pigs, the right population and, and so on. Uh, and it just so happened that give or take a uh, slight delay in one batch to another, uh, we had a, 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 an opportunity to be able to measure uh, effects in our own building uh, with like-for-like -like groups of pigs. Let's go and have a look. Okay. Two years ago, we had the opportunity to do a presentation uh, on EPI to the Innovation Conference. Uh, created quite a lot of interest, uh, including um, an approach from uh, Harper Adams, uh, who we supplied buildings to, uh, to talk about the system in general. And out of that came the approach to AHDB uh, by Harper Adams for a grant. Uh, to fund the work that uh, you're looking at today. As we've heard, dust floating in the air sticks to the fabric of the building. As unpleasant as this may look, it's certainly better than being taken into the lungs of the people and the pigs. What have you seen um, using this system? I think most obviously the amount of dust that the system takes out of the air. Um, the dust sticks to the ceilings and the walls in the room, which makes it look a little bit dirty but it gives you a real appreciation of the dust we're taking out of the air that the pigs and indeed ourselves as stock people would have otherwise been breathing in. How easy has this prototype system been to use, particularly in respect to cleaning? It's very straightforward to use. The system's entirely automated, so it switches on and off as we're going in and out of the room. Uh, it's just simply a question of checking the control box, the lights on the control box, uh, to confirm that it is working properly. From a cleaning point of view, although the room is dirtier, it hasn't taken any more uh, effort to wash. A little bit more attention to detail, perhaps, where in crevices and gaps where the dust has collected. But um, other than that, very, very straightforward. The science seems to be helping, but proof that this research has real value can only be seen through measurement. So, Dom, how did you evaluate the outcomes? We measured several critical areas inside the building. We assessed dust in real time on a continuous basis using a piece of apparatus that continually monitors and actually breaks the dust out into the different factions so it includes respirable dust within that so we know what the pigs could be breathing in 
We recorded different types of bacteria, both in the air and settling out of the air, to give a good indication of what the pigs were experiencing, both at pig level and what they're breathing in. How did you measure the impact on pig health? As well as quantifying performance in quite close detail, which is a good indicator of pig health, we also used the BPHS system in the abattoir. So we specifically commissioned a vet who's BPHS trained to attend when these pigs were being slaughtered. And every individual pig had a BPHS scoring done on it, which scores both lung lesions, EP-like lesions in the lung, pleurisy, and a whole host of respiratory health factors as well.